Hey guys, Jeff here with Martin Survival. So today I want to go over a medicinal plant that's right beside me. This is called Yerba Santa. Now, the Cahuilla Indians use this as medicine for years and years. And I want to show you what parts you can gather, harvest, and use for medicine. So stay with me. All right, so welcome back. Now the uh, Yorba Santa, like I said, it was used for years and years by the Cahuilla Indians, as a matter of fact, by the Serrano as well. And uh, when you gather these leaves and you smell them, they smell very, very similar to a cherry cough drop. Very distinct smell to it. You'll notice also on the leaves that it's darker on one side and lighter on the other. But like I said, the smell of the Yarba Santa, mm, very pleasant, very potent, and very distinctive. So what did they use? Well, they gathered these leaves, both the Serrano and the Cahuilla, and they made a tea out of it. So they would boil these leaves down, and the tea would help them with congestion, a little bit of chest pain, would help them with cold and flu symptoms. It would even help with tuberculosis and asthma. So this is a highly, highly medicinal plant and like I said I mean if you guys came across this and you smelt these leaves I mean it has the most distinct smell in this desert I mean very very potent and as you guys can probably hear in my voice I am starting to get a little bit sick so that's why I came out here today to gather this Yarba Santa and I am going to uh, get back to my campsite and make a tea out of this And that should be about good. So we'll just put this in the pocket, get back, and uh, I'm gonna boil a tea. So I appreciate you guys joining me for this video. I'm Jeff with Martin Survival. We'll see you in the next one. Before I let you guys get going here, I wanted to uh, give you guys kind of a caution and a warning. And I don't say this enough in my videos. If you cannot positively identify a plant, do not touch it. You don't know what toxin is in it. You don't know what it is. Just leave it be and let it chart its course. You know, there are very deadly plants out here, uh, such as hemlock and death camus, and you got to be extremely careful. And a lot of people can get them mixed up with edible plants. I have taken courses throughout the years, and actually many years, in studying plants and how Native Americans use these plants. And uh, I can positively identify most of these plants out in my area. So like I said, do your homework, do your research, know what you can eat and take a few classes. That is huge. I have taken classes um, with some of the world's best botany teachers. I have taken it at institutes and colleges and privately. And, and uh, like I said, I can identify it and I know what it is, but you might not. So be extremely careful. Just a little bit of a word of caution. Thanks.